Welcome to the Prep and Defense Show, our brand new podcast. I'm your host, Chris Ruano, and on this episode, I'm going to be letting you know why we're starting this podcast, who it's for, how we're going to be adding value for you, and what makes us unique here at Prep and Defend and why you should tune in to this podcast. We are going to be covering all things performance and attitude over the course of this show. Uh, Why are we doing this podcast? We are doing this podcast to help busy men build lasting performance and resilience so that they can better perform in their teams and their families. So if that sounds like you, this is going to be perfect. And we're also, we want to help you active men that are interested in improving your physical performance and your leadership mindset as well. So how are we going to be doing this? Well, we're going to be adding value in several ways. There's going to be this podcast, which you can catch here on YouTube on video, or you can be listening right now on the audio version on all the major podcast platforms such as iTunes and Spotify. So we are also going to be providing a lot more fitness videos and content uh, in addition to what we already have in our YouTube library that we've been putting out for years and our Instagram profile, but we're actually trying to make YouTube more of a home for that. So this is the place to find it here on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed yet, come on over to our YouTube channel and subscribe uh, because you don't want to miss anything. Also, nutrition content and hacks, things that are working for guys like you right now, both on duty and at home. And how about family, family perspective, family adventures, family resources. So we're going to be getting into things that can help you and your family succeed, help you lead your family, and as I said, help you lead your teams. I am a father of two boys, and the youngest one just recently graduated high school, and I've been married for over 21 years. See, I had to make sure I got that number right. Through my career as a first responder, being married and raising kids, just like you, there's a ton of challenges. There's a, there's a lot that goes into that to try to make things work both at home and on duty. The work-life balance, mental resilience, all of those things, they all need to come together. And those are the kinds of things that I hope to pull from my experience and my perspectives to help you guys out with that as much as I can. And we're also going to be getting into leadership principles and content. If I had to pick two things that I was extremely passionate and just can't wait to teach and talk about, and that is anything related to fitness and performance. The next thing is anything related to leadership, leadership attitudes, perspectives, how to be a better leader in the workplace, how to be a better father and husband and man at home. So that's how uh, some things I want to bring to you guys on the leadership side. And all of these topics, the fitness, the nutrition, the family aspect, mindset and attitudes, All of this is going to be definitely from a fire service and first responder kind of slant because that's the experience that I have, right? That is what I'm going to be pulling from to help give you helpful tips and things that can, that can help you in your own life in those same situations. So, and what is unique about prep and defend and what makes us stand out? Well, I will say we, when we're talking about prep and defend, because it's not just me, It is my family. My wife helps me with this. I am here talking to you right now and doing this podcast because of her inspiration and help. And also my sons provide the support, the motivation, um, and really the reason behind why I do all of this is, you know, just the, the love for the family, realizing how important it is and the challenges of work and life and mental stress that can get in the way and kind of cause friction and hamper that. So that is really my motivation to help clear this thing up, to provide you guys with useful tips and tricks as we move forward. And as I said, it's going to be from a fire service and first responder perspective, because that is my experience. I have over 22 years as a full-time professional firefighter. I have 25 years, if you count a couple of seasons that I did in the forest service, working in the wildland, on hotshot crews on a seasonal basis before getting hired full-time. And while working full-time, I have had the opportunity to be leading teams, leading crews for almost the last 15 years. I started out as a leader 
Um, of course, you can be a leader as a firefighter, but I mean, actually, my role was supervising inmates. That was my first leadership job, supervising inmates on wildland hand crews. And I learned a tremendous amount that I can't wait to share with you on the leadership side. And then I moved on to working with paid hand crews, and that provided a whole nother set of perspective and challenges. And now I'm currently working as a fire captain in the fire stations. Once again, it is uh, that leadership role, and it's very different than those other two, as I mentioned, working in the wildland, just with the challenges of being a first responder, the schedule changes, and the work-life balance. So that is what makes us unique, and I'm going to tell you a lot more about it in the episodes to come. And it is my honor and my passion to be able to equip workers, guys like you, with effective strategies that'll help you to unlock powerful performance and positive leadership. So let's talk about the release schedule of this podcast. Well, we plan on releasing this. This is going to be coming out on Tuesdays at 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The podcast will come out on, be released on YouTube and the audio only version will be out for you as well. So it's up to your podcast hosts, iTunes, Spotify, on how long they actually take to upload it. But that's when we'll be hitting the send button and putting that uh, podcast out for you, making it available. And what is the podcast structure going to be like? What can you expect? Because when we did our other Prep and Defend podcast, it was most often an interview kind of format where we were talking to other guys in their in their respective fields. Well, as we get this one going, we're starting off, it's just going to be me on this podcast. It's going to be a solo host format for now, and we'll see kind of how that goes. But I have plenty of episodes ready to go, loaded in the chamber that I am I have been looking forward to talking with you guys about, to sharing with you guys. And since the podcast audio version was on hiatus for a while. Um, Even some of these topics that I will be revisiting, um, it's been almost two years since I covered some of those topics. I've learned a lot. I've changed a lot. The world has changed a lot. So I'm looking forward to getting into that with you guys. So that's kind of how this podcast is going to be structured. And we will be alternating between topics of performance and attitude. So like I said, those are the two main things that I'm so passionate about is fitness, performance, our performance on the fire ground in my line of work, and your performance in your life or whatever it is that you do and how you live. And then attitudes, that's going to be mindset and leadership and family attitudes and strategies. So performance, we're going to be doing performance episodes. There'll be topics on fitness, on nutrition, on recovery. And then when we get to the attitudes and leadership, there'll be topics on leadership, family, and what it means to really be a man. And that means fatherhood and marriage and all things family. Also, we'll be getting into some mental resilience. As you guys are aware, if you follow any of our Prep and Defend resources, we are affiliated with the Fire Up program. That is a nonprofit that uh, myself, I have been involved with as a founder. It is a men's resilience weekend that we get to pour in into other guys and help them out and just help give them tools, strategies to help them be more resilient in life. And once again, to help push back against these these stressors and these things that come at us. Uh, We can't do that on our own. We need to be surrounded by other great men. And so they come up to the program. We dial them in. Once they leave, they're program guys and we stay in community So we will be talking about mental resilience because I have definitely learned a lot in my involvement with the guys at the Fire Up program. And also, faith is just going to be always an aspect in it because that is part of who I am. I'm not trying to push my faith on anybody else, but when we get down to the core of a lot of these issues, for sure my perspectives, my experiences, um, and my source for a lot of that is is very faith-based. But uh, even if you're not a man of faith, don't worry about it. You're going to find the stuff super helpful. So I hope you're excited about it. I am definitely excited, finally able to hit record on this and start getting you guys out some content. You can subscribe here to the YouTube channel if you haven't. Please share it with other folks. They may have been listening on 
Spotify, iTunes, but now we're moving it over here to YouTube. We'll have it on video and you can listen on YouTube as well. But uh, for now, that ought to bring you guys up to speed on what we have, what we're going on. A little introduction episode for you. For today, we're going to be saying bye. I hope that you share this. I hope that you enjoy it and let me know what kind of topics and content you need more to help push back in your life against the stress and everything else that we got going on as men in today's world. Thanks for checking out this episode and I'll see you on the next one.